Hi, and welcome to Faith into Greatness. Thank you so much for joining me here today. Today, God inspired me to give a message about how the seeds that you plant every single day in this life will be the fruits that will bear and come to pass in your life. What do I mean by this? Some people understand this principle, this piece of wisdom as karma or what goes around comes around. And I see this all the time in my life, and I understand this principle greatly. Let me give you guys an example. I went to this grocery store where they require you to put a quarter in to use the grocery cart. And I put the quarter in, but when I left the store, I packed up my car, and I left the car in the parking lot as a gift to someone else so that if they pull in and they just so happen to not have a quarter on them, they would have a cart there ready for them, not having to worry about it, right? So many times I went to the store and I would receive this blessing where people would just give me their shopping cart. I would go, God would bless me with the first parking spot, and then somebody would be there waiting with their shopping cart. <laughs> and it's just cool. You know, God also has blessed me in ways where it wasn't just seeds I planted that were bearing fruit in my life. So recently I went to the grocery store with my husband, my kids, and we were walking to the store and the gentleman was waiting there ready to give me a cart. And my husband was like, wow, look at that, you know? And I explained to him that just a few days before I had left the shopping cart in the parking lot for somebody as a blessing in case they needed it. And that was just a way of it coming back to me amongst many things that have come back to me. I remember a time where I was in New York City and I was working and I came across a woman at Sparrows who was digging through the garbage looking for food. And it really made me feel sad inside my spirit. You know, if you don't feel sad looking through at somebody else digging through the garbage for food, I pray for you that the Lord give you some empathy and compassion. You know, we just don't know people's stories. But I bought this woman food. The long, the long story, the short of it actually, is I bought her food, I gave her a $20 bill, and I left. I spoke to her, I, you know, I said, God bless you, and I left, right? A week later or so, maybe it was about a week and a half later, God blessed me. My boss gave me 2000 in cash to buy myself a new laptop for law school. And I was blown away. And then people on the trading floor at this company had gathered up over, oh, close to almost $4,000 as a going away gift for me. So I left with close to $6,000 in my hand in preparation to go to law school to buy a new laptop and furniture and things that I needed. What a blessing. God always shows out. Always trust and have faith. I can tell you about somebody else in my life who's the greatest person on earth, my mom. You know, when I look at her life and how blessed she is as a person from her spirit, her thought process, I just see how all the fruit that's there been born into her life is truly a result of her wonderful conduct and what she's done. God has blessed her, of course, but you know, all of the fruits that she had poured out, all the seeds she poured out into different people have ultimately returned to her through the conduct of those different people and the blessings that they pour into her. Let me tell you something, nothing you ever do is in vain. Whether you're planting good seeds or terrible seeds, you're planting seeds, so be careful. I hope this message blesses you all. May you plant positive seeds. May you plant seeds of goodness and of faith. May you plant seeds of abundance and prosperity and of truth. May you be free in this life and be free enough to speak the truth and not be scared. I hope this message blesses you all. Take care and God bless.